Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Trails of Dawn 2 Crimson Sin. Last time we made it to the... What's this place called? The Hollow White Garden of Demise. I don't know if that's how I'm going to translate it in the subtitles. What the hell have we got here? These guys are in the final dungeon in the first game. This, this place just straight up is the final dungeon of the first game, by the way. At least with, like, the platforms. I mean, it is changed, like, slightly, obviously. And, like, I guess the... Like, the surrounding area is different, too, to Genesis Tower. But, like, the whole thing with, like, the platforms and these kind of archways like, is straight up, like, in Genesis Tower. You got these enemies from Dark Souls 3 as well. I love this piece so much. Wait, who needs a CP? Also, was there an active voice that I missed? Oops. 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 What the fuck is... Wait. Oh, I'm on this one for some reason. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this... Yeah, uh... That was weird. Wait, how big is this place? It's quite expensive. I reckon, uh... It's probably gonna be, like... Someone blocking our way on the way there. I put money on the fucking, uh... Gerard's kids. The fucking twins from before. I reckon they've got involved. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, went completely different. How I thought it would. I figured that Nadia joined up with Garden Master. Because she thought it was, like, her brother. But now she seems, like, convinced that it's not Ace. So, like, honestly, who the fuck knows what's going on here? But, yeah, I thought they were going to do a thing where, like, they made us fight. Like, they brought back the fucking twins, too, from uh, the interlude chapter. And made us fight, like, all of the remnants of Garden. So, like, those two plus Swin and Nadia plus Garden Master. I thought that was going to be, like, kind of what they were leading towards with this. But, uh... I mean, I, I like that. This, this game's not going exactly how I kind of predicted. Also, one thing uh, I thought, I kind of brought it up when uh, we saw that scene with fucking uh, the Grendel Zolga in his human form, though, like when he was talking to Swin. Like, and I, sa I said something, but like after thinking about that scene again, I think there's uh, no way that like what I'm thinking is right. So I might as well just mention it now because I don't think it's true at all. Just like mainly because of the way he was speaking. And also like there was something else too, but I can't remember. Oh. Uh, that's a gate. So this really is the same, uh, like, composition-wise as, like, the Garten. Yes, uh, but this feeling, I can feel, like, uh, malice. Let's go, but don't let your guards down. Let's, uh, like, put an end to this. What was I saying? I've already fucking forgot. Oh, right, yeah. So my theory was that I didn't want to mention, in case I was right and I was, like, spoiling, was I thought that, uh, the Grendel Zolga was maybe C from our reverie. Because uh, Swin mentioned that he was like acting differently. Well, like, act no, not acting differently, like acting separately from them. Like in the whole like, like when they were like searching for Lapis or like trying to find a way to cure her. I thought maybe uh, Garden Master managed to like uh, get control over him or something. But honestly, who the freak knows what's going on with the Grendel's Olga? Like, I'm honestly, uh, like, just as curious as to what's going on with him, if not more so, than what's going on with Garden Master. Because honestly, okay, I'm gonna say this now. I, I kept meaning to talk about this before. Oh, these, I hate these fucking enemies. They were in the final dungeon in the first game, too. Alright, there we go. And we're all back up to full CP with that, too. Perfect. Let's, uh, yeah. This is one of the contraptions we found in the Garten, too. I know it might be a bit late, but I'm going to make an effort to call it that, just so it's not confusing. I wish I'd fucking thought of that earlier, because I knew I knew that the Japanese word 
They, were, they weren't calling it garden, they were calling it garden. <clears throat> but it was just easier to translate it into English, like saying fairy tale garden. Because I swear, every time I hear myself say Mahen, makes me want to fucking throw up. Like, I cannot do like German pronunciations and stuff. At least I'm pretty sure it's German. If not, I'm going to be really embarrassed, but I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because I have a friend that learned German and uh, I think I think that word Mahen came up in another. Well, it, like it's also a Japanese word, so I think I must have just asked him when I like learned that word. But yeah, anyway, what I was saying about Ace. So basically, so we're all on the same page here. Ace is uh, Swin's partner when he was like kidnapped and like made into an assassin of Garden. He was his first partner. And basically, they got on really well, obviously. And they hated Garden, so they wanted to like try and flee together. So they made like a plan to flee, and they tried to flee. But the problem with Garden is they have like rules to stop you from doing that. Basically, the rule with Garden is they always make you team up with someone else. And if one of the, like one of your, like if your teammates betrays Garden and you can find evidence of that and like show it to an administrator, then that teammate will get punished, but you'll be able to like flee Garden. Like they'll let you go. So what the fuck's up with this guy? Straight up big guy. Wait, is this an active voice? I feel like I haven't seen her. Yeah, yeah, this is an active voice. Uh, looks like there's still a long way to go. This will be uh, fun to go through. I welcome this challenge. How reliable. But I imagine we're probably going to run into that soon. Or we'll run into something soon. So yeah, as I was saying, back to fucking garden. And like their funny little rules. So uh, yeah, that's one of their rules. But they have another one. If you both like try and uh, run away together, like both of the partners together. Like, cause okay, like at the point that you decide to like run away with someone else, like in garden, like you'd be able to betray your partner and get out of garden for free without like any risk of them chasing you. So the fact, like, it's, like, extremely rare for two people to want to try and run from Garden themselves. But there is a rule, like, in case that happens, too. Once they catch you, or, like, once they... Oh, that's fucking bad. Oh, I hate these enemies. They lock onto you like a fucking Elden Ring enemy. And great. Fucking screen nuke. Great. Perfect. God, I swear that's actually impossible to dodge. Yeah, the only way to fucking dodge that is to get your charge, wait for him to do it, and then uh, forcibly stun him and get him out of it. So yeah, as I was saying, if they catch you, like if you flee as a group from guard and they catch you, like obviously they're going to beat the shit out of you until you can't fight back anymore. And then I guess they'll like punish you both. But if you betray your partner then and kill them, they'll let you back into garden with no consequences. They just won't let you, like, go, because you're already, like, fucked up by trying to betray them. Anyway, that's what happened to Swin and Ace. So, uh, they got caught, and then they were, like, despaired, and then, uh, Ace turned on Swin. And Swin managed to kill him. And then the Emperor... Well, when Nadia joined, like, the Emperor obviously, like, knew what happened. He was, like, the administrator. So he, uh... Like, teamed up Nadia and Swin on purpose because he wanted Nadia to, like, entertain, or, like, he wanted Nadia to betray her, or to betray him, so it would be entertaining. Alright, there we go, my god, I... It's fucking hard to fight enemies and try and, like, speak coherently. Okay, so back to, like, the story of 3 and 9, because I guess I'm just recounting the whole thing, because I imagine a lot of you guys haven't read it. I, there is an English translation, just not an official one. Actually, no, there is a... Wait. Uh, Su Chan, Nadia, it's okay. We'll get him back, I promise. Yeah, sorry, uh, thanks, Archan. Wait, I, I didn't think we'd have a fucking encounter this early. I'm gonna get Aaron's CP back. I guess I can uh, just keep telling the story maybe after this. But yeah, yeah, I guess now there is an English translation of it because. Trails of Cold Steel 4 came out in English, and 
There's probably uh, someone who's posted it somewhere. It's like easy to read. All right, there we go. I'm, I'm sure there's still probably plenty of people that haven't read the story, so I will go over it. But basically, all you need to know for now is that uh, Ace tried to betray Swin, and then Swin killed him instead. And that's probably like all the context you really need. Well, I guess long story short, basically, Ace was Nadia's brother. So Emperor teamed up Nadia with Swin because she, he wanted Nadia to get revenge on Swin for killing her brother. And uh, Nadia played along with it, but she knew that... Well, Nadia thinks that Ace didn't actually betray Swin. He just tried to... Like, he made a show of doing so, and then uh, actually let Swin kill him because he was younger. And Ace wanted uh, Swin to, like, live in, like, instead of him. And then uh, he ended up succeeding, getting away from Garden, so it, like, worked out. But yeah, the only reason it worked was because uh, Nadia managed to trick Emperor by, like, acting like she wanted to get revenge on Swin, and then almost doing it. And then the Emperor let his guard down, and, uh... But, like, that's when they managed to kill him, and that's basically the story. That's, like, all the context you really need to know, but there's something up here, it seems like. Is it Swin? Can't be Swin, not this early. Behind us. Oh, it is Swin. Man! So it didn't work. I completely hidden my presence too. I guess with the silver sword master with you. Actually, no, I guess I couldn't fool Van's sense of smell. Uh, an ambush? When did he get behind us? It's just like uh, what Joshua used to do. Man, you were really after my life there. Of course, right now I'm three of swords. As the partner of the Ace of Swords, I came here to get rid of uh, those who were trying to get in his way. You surprised me, Nadia. I wasn't expecting you to appear in front of us like that. Be honest, I didn't think you had it in you. Either to join us or to like stop us with your own hand. <laughs> When I traveled with you guys uh, two years ago, I kind of figured out or I learned what like the deal with you two was, but... You always felt terrible about what you had to do to your former partner, and uh, that's what the encroachment took advantage of, isn't it? No, I chose this myself. On the first night we were in Nemeth Island, he came and made contact with me, and that's when I decided. That night, I couldn't sleep, so, uh... I went out without telling Nadia and walked along the beach. And when I did that, all of a sudden, La I mean, uh, Altera appeared before me. I chased after her and, uh, like when I followed, uh, those guys that had already come to the island were waiting for me. So that they could welcome me among their, like, companions. There's no way he's alive. I mean, I'm the one who killed him after all.
But after seeing his face and speaking with him, he really was just like Ace. Even though I knew it to be impossible, I couldn't shake that feeling that it really was him. It was just like when he used to support me and was always so kind to me. And that's why I decided that I'd go with them. No matter what he's trying to do, I'll support him by his side and uh, see this through. At the moment that I thought that, something crimson like entered my body, and uh, all my other memories of that night were sealed off. Until the next day, when I betrayed you guys, when I betrayed Nadia. That's kind of written weirdly. Swin. So they were even there on the first day. Yeah. Well, thinking about it now, it seems obvious. They were, like, connected with, uh, the Oathbreaker, after all, back then. And they even sealed your memories. I was wondering why, like, it came out of nowhere, but... They really planned that, uh, efficiently, didn't they? Their plan to steal the uh, outer parts of the 8th Genesis. And everything happened so that Garden Master could achieve his goal. Are you really okay with that, Swin? You must know how much this has hurt Nadia. Yeah, of course. However, as long as that man continues to be Ace, my way of being won't change. After all, that's the only thing I can do to atone. The, like, boost from the encroachment, but this is... It's like way stronger than any of the other guys that were encroached upon before. So because he's accepting the encroachment like of his own volition, he's able to use the power like more effectively. Seems he's uh, serious. And uh, there's no, like, contradiction that we can take advantage of this time either. It'll be hard to get through to him. But that's just... It's fine, Archan. だから手を貸してパンさん。あちゃん2年ちゃん。他のみんなも。アディアちゃん。わかりました。こうなったらとことん付き合ってあげるわ。曲がりなりにもあなたたちの友人として。そして学校生活の先輩として。スイ。お前
Uh, this again? Fuck me. That's like really easier said than done. They want us to do this without getting uh, incapacitated and then I guess we'll get SP points. Alright, you bloody codger. Oh, there's so many of them. Fuck me. 80,000 HP on those ones. Yeah, I guess these guys replace the archaisms that usually show up in these kind of fights. Alright, well... I guess just the uh, same strategy as always. At least there's none of the instant death ones. Because I haven't prepared for that, so... Yeah. Ooh, this is big chain. But I love the chain fucking mechanic in this game. I think it's really... It's fresh. Kinda reminds me of Radiant Historia. Which I'm replaying at the moment. That game is a fucking masterpiece. I have no idea why they decided to make a remake of it, but I'm glad as hell that they did, because... Hmm. You know, I'm gonna do something a little bit cheeky here. Just, uh, a little bit cheeky. Do this. Look at that fucking chain go. Two times max damage. And now. Uh, that's so much damage. I'm stimming. <laughs> wow. We nearly got rid of those guys too. And we've still got the chain. But I can't S-Craft again, which is a damn shame. Got zero crafts, which I... Or arts, which I can't really make full use of. You know, I'm gonna... Just to be safe, I'm gonna put up a... All right, I think we did enough damage. I wasn't expecting the chain to go beyond that anyway, so it's fine. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he's gonna be critting us now. And he can actually make use of it because he's the boss, so he's getting all the damn turns. Hmm, what do? I guess just do this. I just realized Aaron didn't dodge. Losing your touch. You're strong. There we go. Yeah, of course. At least it's not actually that much health. Like an S-Craft. Don't appreciate that, Swinny. Wait, I just realized she's not barely lost any CP from that uh S craft. That's fucking hype. Oh, I don't like the look of that. What is, what is he doing? I might be able to. Yeah, I think it's worth giving this a go. I might be able to just stagger him or kill him before he gets that off. Can I do it with this, too? I can. Not bad. I want to do this to get rid of Swin's uh, speed boost and the other one's buffs. Nice. I hate these enemies. Ouch. I just one-shot her shield. I mean, I feel like shields are still useful, obviously, but... Is this guy gonna get staggered? He is. I need to find a way to link and still hit both of them. Bro, Rosette, are you fucking serious? I can't reach! I guess it's... Doesn't have to be both of them, but I would like to stagger that one. 
Ah, forget it. I'll just hit these two. I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time. Boom. I feel like Swin's probably gonna use his Ascroft pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, that activates the thing. Interesting. What the hell do you think you're doing? No. Stop that. Still just this. Okay. He hasn't even used uh, Three of Swords yet. Or his Ascroft, either. Let's just try and finish off uh, the big guy. Good damage. And we finish that guy off. Perfect. Swin's actually surprisingly not that fast. He's not getting as many turns as I thought he'd be getting. But I reckon it's time for him to escrow up pretty damn soon. I'm gonna set this up. You know what, fuck it. We might be able to stagger him here. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Even if I can stagger him, I don't want to without any boost turns. I knew it. Oh my god, wow, that's strong. That killed Rosette, even though she had a shield. I just realized Aaron's not been doing that much damage because he hasn't had the buff. Alright, well, I, I guess I can show off part of my uh, new strategy with Van. Bro, I also, I gave Aaron a Sepith, or like a Quartz. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Nice. Yeah, I gave uh, Aaron a thing that's supposed to increase aggro from enemies. Let's do that, intentionally not staggering him so that I can use a bit of it. Wow, it's, it's barely got any cast time either, that's hype. And look at this, this heals everyone to max. Ow. This guy does not seem hard. I don't think he's gonna heal either. Oh fuck it, yes. Let's use this. We might be able to get a status on him too. And also, it's actually better for the chain bonus, too. Yeah, there we go. Let's fucking go, baby. And she's in the just so happens to be... Uh, ...boosted, too, which is hype. Let's link up with Van if I can. Boom. Beautiful. Yo, let's just do this. We'll get our, our next boost uh, after this too, I think. Yeah, boom. Uh, it doesn't matter though, he, he snapped out of it. He might S-Craft again. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Is that all you've got? Ah, <laughs> says the guy who got paralyzed. Fucking fool. Oh, fuck yeah, let's just build up the chain and also kill him. Yeah, he's really slow. It's weird. Right, uh, in preparation for a potential phase two, I'm not going to S craft here. Overkill. Nice. Oh, 
Well done, Nadia. I don't feel any hesitation in your, uh, like your needles or your, like, uh, thread. So you finally acknowledged me, right? As an enemy worth, uh, killing. <laughs> of course not! But I'll still fight you, because I want to get you back, Su-chan. So that we can welcome Ra-chan back together with a smile. Nadia. Hey, squirt, hurry up and open your damn eyes. Haven't you had enough of making your partner cry like this? Yes, we shouldn't be fighting. He's gone? I guess he really retreated. Yeah, but only temporarily, it seems like. Yeah, but he shouldn't be able to catch up to us easily from down there. You okay? God, what's he doing making his uh, precious girl cry like this? I'm fine. Let's just keep going. If we can uh, get rid of the mastermind, then Su Chan will definitely. Nadia. You're right. Our ultimate goal here is to stop the encrosion. The Master of Garden, the Eighth Genesis, and the Crimson Armored Demon. If we stop them, since they're at the root of this, then Swin's encrosion too will. In that case, we should uh, hurry forward. Yeah, and if we take too long, then uh, Ashen's uh, encroachment might begin soon too. If we ran into Swin here, then the Master of Garden can't be that far from here. Let's uh, put our all into this and head over there. Alright, so we're actually like halfway through, I guess, maybe? Oh, goddamn. There's a lot of enemies we gotta deal with. Especially if uh, we haven't like completely done with uh, Swin yet. My god, that squirt is annoying to when you have to fight against him. Hey, that's rude. Uh, Su Chan's always like strong and cool. Uh, she's putting on a brave front. But at least she's uh, like able to face forward. Uh, is that... Yeah, I think I managed to beat him with just these four, so they're the only ones I need CP for. Van just gains so much of it on his own. But yeah, I'm glad I was able to explain uh, the fucking story, the context, before we ran into Swin. I didn't think we'd run into him that quickly, but... Good thing I settled that uh, in Ramen Race. That was kind of weighing on my mind, because... To me, like, the ace reveal was, like, pretty fucking a big deal. But I can see how that wouldn't mean anything to someone who hadn't read the book. Oh, I hate this type of enemy. They're fucking hard to deal with because they just charge. And they're really hard to avoid when they start, like, using their undodgeable attacks. Bruh. Like, you can dodge them, but then you can't, like, counterattack them sometimes. Ba -ba -bum. 
ba 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 Kill enemies. Actually, I, I might as well kill some of these guys. All right, man, we got a lot of shard skills. I noticed that Shizuna has one uh, that raises her attack and defense when she like guards. I am not dealing with this shit. If it's one guy, then sure, but no, not two. I don't fucking think so. But this dungeon doesn't seem like it's going to be that long. I remember Genesis Tower is like real fucking long. I might play as man here. Alright, nice. It's just Rosette that needs CP now, I guess. Let's get Rosette cheeky turn. She's pretty quick at building CP because all her attacks are like multi hits. And level 61. I reckon I'll uh, deal with these guys. And then uh, we'll be done with like CP collecting. Oh yeah, one other thing I did uh, with Rosette, or as like part of my preparations, I basically gave her a bunch of stuff to make her into like a spellcaster. Basically so that she can take advantage of zero arts turns. Why am I fighting these guys? I don't need to be dealing with this shit. I've got better things to do. Uh, yeah, we are not dealing with this. You. And yeah, I think you have to activate these with, uh, yeah. The same as the ones in the garden. And in the silly cave and uh, the interlude. Alright, are we nearly there yet? Actually, how much of this place have we explored? We've actually come a ways. Whew. God damn. Again, fired up. Dude, I've... Re I, d I don't know how much... <laughs> I've been recording a lot today. Hmm, I was on guard, but... Uh, I guess we don't have to worry about any more... T well, it doesn't seem like uh, that guy's going to come and attack us. Yeah, we can't let our guards down, but he might be with uh, that guy. Yeah. Nearly there now. And these enemies do a terrible job of actually stopping me from getting anywhere. The hell? This goes down, okay. Dude, what? I, I swear, like, all the cutscenes we saw of Garden Master, except for the one in the tower. He was in like some, uh, some like dark castle looking place. Not this like beautiful white garden. Wonder if uh, that's where we're headed. Maybe we'll like get to see where that was. Or maybe the lighting was just weird and it made it look like that. Because it was only ever on screen for like a little bit of, what the fuck? Oh, I went the wrong way. Bruh. The classic Sam's uh, no sense of direction coming in clutch again. But yeah, as I was saying, I've been recording like since uh, when I had to play back up to the fucking uh, <laughs> back to the point where I had to stop the recording uh, last time in like part fucking like uh, 82 or 83. <laughs> And then, uh... Oh. Oh, shit. 
There they are. They're waiting for us. Oh, this is so fucking hype. Just beyond here. Uh, like the air feels different. I think they're waiting for us. The master of garden, the root of all of this evil. Yeah, they really gave us hell so far, but this time we're gonna uh, stop this like repeating nightmare once and for all. But we're gonna stop it in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and I think next time for sure will be the chapter finale. I'll see you then.